welcome back to my channel <laughs> if you don't know me hi i'm caroline i am a mother of one baby called ellis i post all sorts of videos on this channel cleaning motherhood lifestyle vlogs whatever i fancy so if you fancy sticking around hit that subscribe button and yeah i'm trying to reduce my plastic use as much as possible so I'm going to share with you today I think it's 10 things that I no longer buy anymore or if I do buy them I've reduced the amount that I buy them so anyway without further ado let's get into it first of all we'll start with the beauty stuff first because I'm no beauty guru so let's just get that out the way first first thing I don't buy anymore is toner instead of buying makeup toner from the supermarket in a plastic tube, I make my own. How you ask? I buy apple cider vinegar and put it in this little bottle with water. I do, I follow the one part apple cider vinegar, two parts water, put it in here and spritz this all over my face after I finish cleansing in the morning and evening. And that's it. So this bottle is from Amazon. I bought a set of five from Amazon. I know Amazon's not the best for its ethics, We'll conquer that problem another day, but for now, I've bought a lot of stuff from Amazon. <laughs> I buy my apple cider vinegar from Holland and Barrett's. I get a big bottle of it, so it lasts forever. And yeah, I'm not buying plastic bottles with toner in it anymore. So that's one thing I'm doing that makes me feel better about plastic. The, the next thing I don't buy anymore is face wipes. Face wipes are no good for the environment at all. They come in plastic, packaging which can't be recycled, the wipes themselves usually have plastic in them as well and they can't be recycled, they're no good, stop buying them. I recommend you buy things like this. This again is from Amazon, it's 20 makeup cloths. These were quite cheap, I think they were like eight pounds or something for 20, amazing. And it comes with a bag as well which you um, can wash them in and just literally a cloth, like a flannel. I use one of these a day because I'm trying to sort my acne out. Thank you very much. Not needed. Go away. So I use one of these a day after I cleanse my face in the morning and evening, shove it in, a, in the bag and then at the end of the week I put the bag in the washing machine along with some other bits and yeah, done. No need to buy face wipes anymore. Obviously it's a bit more of an expensive one-off payment. Eight pounds is more than obviously your average pack of wipes but you obviously make your money back because after you've used these a good few times you've already made back your money because you're not buying wipes do that make sense you know what i mean anyway <laughs> i highly recommend using reusable flannels reusable face cloths final beauty thing i don't buy anymore is cotton pads don't need cotton pads anymore they can't be recycled the plastic tube they come in or the plastic bag they come in can't be recycled they're a waste of money they're not good for the environment at all so i've bought reusable ones i have bought so i've got two companies here one company i will link down below are they called i think they're called the ethical super it? I'm not sure I'll link it down below and they are just simple plastic free co completely cotton reusable cotton pads the other one I bought uh, the other pack I got was from Etsy and they have plastic in them here plastic around the rim yeah I didn't realize that when I bought them and they started fraying as I started washing them have had these for quite a long time and the plastic has just popped out and I wouldn't and when I first realized that I wasn't impressed I will say but it doesn't matter because I'm still not buying cotton pads. These are all reusable. I shove them in a little mesh bag after every use and then I put them in the washing machine along with my face wipes every week or so. Apologies for this lighting. What is going on? The sun is not my friend today. I'm gonna to have to wear sunglasses soon. I've had to close the curtain a little bit. I hope it's not affected the light too much. I've been blinded. The next thing I no longer buy anymore, with a bit of a caveat, is that the right word? That's a very posh word to say. Anyway, the next thing I don't buy anymore is baby face wipes for the face. So I have a son, Ellis, who is one years old. Obviously, it's messy at meal times. I use reusable face wipes for when I'm cleaning him up afterwards. These are from a company called Cheeky Wipes. I will, I will link them down below. I highly recommend them. They are a great company and they sell all sorts of things, not just baby stuff. And yeah, these and look how cool these ones are. They've got flamingos on. And basically, I've never really used 
re I've never used disposable face wipes for Ellis's face because it's not needed. It's such a waste of money because at the end of the day you're chucking the wipe in the bin all the time. And yeah, these I just reuse one of these, run it under the tap, get a bit wet, rub it over his face. He's clean. This then goes in a little bag under the sink. And then when I'm washing his bibs, I'll shove the wipes in with them. And they're clean, ready to go again. The next thing I no longer buy as much of, <laughs> because I do buy disposable ones, I no longer buy baby wipes for baby's bottom and nappies, disposable nappies. So I use, as much as I can, reusable nappies. Not all the time. I'm happy to say that I will use nappies that go in the bin after use because sometimes I don't have time to be using a cloth nappy or at night time I don't have, I don't use cloth nappies at night. But during the day, as much as can, I do use reusable nappies and reusable wipes. Again, this is from the brand Cheeky Wipes. I do really, 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 really recommend these Cheeky Wipes. They, for the, for the wipes for the bum, you can get a whole kit and they give you two boxes, one for clean wipes, one for dirty wipes, essential oils, all the wipes obviously, and the instructions, so easy to use. In this box here are the clean wipes and it's water, essential oils and the wipes, and you just, you just open it and go. Super easy to use. I do use disposable wipes occasionally, especially if the nappy is disgusting. I will use a disposable wipe to get rid of the majority of the disgustingness, and then I'll use a cloth wipe afterwards. Cloth nappies are something it took me a long time to come around to use. He didn't, I didn't start using cloth nappies until he was about six months. I just didn't have the stomach for it. I was terrified at the thought of them. I thought there'd be too much work. There was so much choice out there. It was a bit overwhelming. Once I got the hang of it, I do really like it. I do really recommend it. And the prints are just gorgeous. I will have to say though, that cloth nappies are not cheap. So I don't think you save much money by using cloth nappies because you do have to wash them obviously quite regularly. So the cost of the nappies plus the washing, I don't think saves you as much money as your four pounds, 56 nappies from Aldi, which I use as well because sometimes. I will leave a link to the cloth nappies I use below. If you live in London, I will also leave a link to a nappy voucher that you are entitled to. Not all the boroughs in London are part of the scheme, and I don't know why it's only London. I am in London, thankfully, so I did use the voucher, which did help me on my cloth nappy journey. I'll link everything down below. If you're interested in it, I don't buy as much disposable nappies and disposable wipes, but I still do because life is just the way it is. Oh, I will just also say you can sometimes buy cloth nappies secondhand, which I do really recommend if you do want to go down a cloth nappy route. You can buy whole kits. You think you can rent kits from some stores as well. So I do really, there are lots and lots of options for you if you do want to use cloth nappies, but you just can't justify the price point. Just look into certain shops and they'll be able to, I'm sure they'll be able to help and there might be different options out there. But anyway, speaking of secondhand, so something I have reduced, again, not completely stopped, something I have reduced buying is fast fashion. Fast fashion is something that is really quite scary. I've done a bit of research on fast fashion and it's, ooh, it's no good. <laughs> a lot of water and waste and landfill issues come up when you look at fast fashion. It's not good for the environment at all. And obviously if you buy things online that will come in plastic packaging, plastic hangers, it's never good. Like I said, I'm no angel. I still do buy things fast fashion for myself, for Ellis, you know, for the house. Sometimes it's just the easiest option. But I have found that secondhand places such as eBay, Depop, Facebook Marketplace, charity shops, any others I can't think of, Instagram pre-loved sites, are so good. And you get really, really, really good brands at a fraction of the cost. A couple of the things I have bought for Ellis recently are wellies. So I've bought this, this pair here. I think these were originally from Next and I think they cost me about seven pounds, not including postage, uh, but seven pounds and they're good quality. They've been used obviously, but they look great. Something I've mentioned quite a few times on my Instagram, <laughs> I bought nine pairs of shoes for Ellis for 11 pounds. Most of the shoes are from a brand called Start Right. This is one pair of them. The others are in his wardrobe and I don't need to show you all of them. But look how cool these ones are. They've got like a compass on. And 11 pounds for nine pairs of shoes. I can't complain. <laughs> and then I've also bought him this buggy suit, which was originally from M&S and this cost me nine pounds. 
Again, brand new, this would not be nine pounds. <laughs> I do really recommend looking on secondhand sites and shops and things like that for clothes, for yourself, for your partner, for your children. There's so much out there and you can get really, really, really nice stuff, sometimes brand new stuff for a fraction of the cost and you're not affecting the environment by buying fast fashion. Speaking of, something I have recently done is I've unsubscribed from loads of mailing lists because I was getting inundated with mailing lists from shops telling me about all the offers they had on and I would spend money and time looking at these shops, putting things in my basket, not buying them, wasting my time, or spending money I didn't need to spend because I was just obsessed by the 15% discount code that they had given me. So I've unsubscribed from loads of sh online mailing lists and it's made my life a lot easier. It's not as overwhelming when I open my inbox anymore. I do really recommend it. <laughs> Obviously you can re-sign up for these mailing lists if you really want to in the future, but for peace of mind, I highly recommend unsubscribing from sites. Something I'm trying to stop buying brand new is books. I am all about supporting authors, of course, but I found that I would be buying books or asking for books for Christmas and things, and I'd read the book once, and they would just sit on my bookshelf forever because I wasn't going to read it again. And so a lot of the time I'd be donating them to charity shops. But I've always found it really overwhelming and a bit upsetting when I go into charity shops and I see hundreds of books there. And they've probably only been read about once or twice. And I just think it's such a waste. So two things I've started doing. One, buying secondhand on Amazon. They have the option of pre-loved books and it will give you like an option of books that are second hand that you can buy. Sometimes the cost, including postage, is more expensive than the new book. If that's the case, then obviously buy the new book. I wouldn't waste your money just to get a second hand book. I don't, that's not something I would do anyway. But that's that. I found a site called Better World Books, which are a second hand site which sell books from libraries that have been retired from libraries. I bought loads of books for Ellis from that site. I think I spent about £40 and I got loads of books, all in great condition. They have the might have stamps in them to say they come, they've have come from a library or they've been recall, recalled from a library. But that doesn't matter, it's just a children's book. A lot of the time these books get ripped anyway by your kids, so I'm not too fussed by this. I've also rediscovered my Kindle. So obviously Kindles mean that you're buying a, a book for cheaper because it's not as expensive as a hard copy of a book. And if you, when you finish with it, there's no waste, it's just an electronic book so it's not an issue so that's the things i've been doing to reduce my consumption of books obviously it's good to support authors i'm not saying to stop buying books altogether kindle wise you are supporting the author i believe because it's a new book but i just get worried about the amount of books that go to waste every day probably because people just don't bother reading them second hand books you can buy them online also, and actually another site is Music Magpie. I will link everything down below that I mentioned because I know I'm ra rambling now. Music Magpie is a good place to buy for secondhand electronics and also secondhand books, although their website is a bit naff. Better World Books has a better website. But anyway, moving on. I no longer buy dishwasher tablets wrapped in plastic because that was a big issue. <laughs> I now buy from a company called Small. They are a subscription service and they sell dishwasher tablets washing tablets and also I think recently fabric conditioner which I'll have to look into because I try and do my best with fabric conditioner I try and do refills but it's not as cheap as 85p from Tesco's which obviously comes in a plastic pot so anyway small do really really good quality vegan cruelty free I think they're environmentally friendly as well the packaging is completely recyclable it's a cardboard box it comes in and you pay for what you want. So I pay £4.20 a month, I believe, and you fill in like a form online and it'll tell you how many tablets they're gonna send you. And that will obviously, each person's cost will be different. I put our dishwasher on every day and I've never had an issue with the quality of the cleaning of the, of the tablets and I've never run out. So £4.20 for plastic-free, eco-friendly and cruelty-free small tablets. Yes, please. Another thing I also have started doing, which I've been doing for quite a while now, is I have tried, not always possible, I've tried to stop buying antibacterial spray. Instead, I will buy a disinfectant, a concentrated disinfectant, such as this one. This is by the brand Fabulosa. Also, you can get Zeflora, and I believe the brand Astonish have started doing one as well. And one capful of this into 750 ml of water. So yeah, for one capful of this will make 400 ml of water. 
So yeah, so about so two capsules of this in one of these is all you need for antibacterial spray. I've had, obviously, as you can tell, I've had to buy some when I ran out of this. But in this bottle here is two capsules of this filled with water and it's antibacterial spray. Obviously, this comes in plastic, but my theory is it's better to buy this than to keep on buying new ones of these. Spray pumps cannot be recycled. I think the bottles can, the pumps can't be. And if you want to be super Instagrammy, you can buy one of these fancy bottles from Amazon. I bought three of these. Put one of these uh, <laughs> labels on the front and yeah. And the last two things, that's four, the last two things I don't buy anymore are cling film and baking paper. Instead, I use silicone mats for my baking trays. These are obviously made of plastic, but they're best for the environment because baking paper cannot be recycled and neither can tin foil. So silicone mats, which I just wash and reuse, simple. And the next thing is these things, I don't know what the names of these are, but I use these instead of cling film. Cling film is obviously awful for the environment, it's such a wasteful product. I found these things, I'll link down below where I bought these from because I can't remember the website. And you just literally will stretch this over a bowl and you're done. It keeps your food fresh and it's great. So yes, that is my things I don't buy anymore. I hope this video has been helpful if you are looking into reducing the amount of plastic and landfill that you are buying then I hope this has been great and helpful for you let me know if there's anything that you use that I should maybe look at doing to reduce plastic and yeah thanks so much for watching please hit that subscribe button and the like button if you liked it and the dislike button if you disliked it because it doesn't matter what you press it's all good for my engagement <laughs> follow me on Instagram as well I like to put stories up quite regularly although i haven't done much today i probably should get on that and i will see you next time guys thanks for watching bye